The Buster Posey era underway by the Bay. San Fran's stud prospect drafted fifth overall in 2008. Recalled from AAA for the first time this season as San Francisco takes on Arizona. Now Posey only notched his first major league hit in September. Bottom one, how about his first ever RBI? In the center field and a base hit. And here comes Sanchez. And Buster Posey in his first at bat this year knocks in a run. It's 2 0 Giants. Posey helping the Giants out to a two zip lead on the hill for San Francisco. Jonathan Sanchez in the second strikes out Connor Jackson, then picking on Chris Snyder. We go to the third, still two zip. Now, Sanchez, he didn't make many mistakes in this one, but he does right here. And Rusty Ryle takes advantage, crushed over the wall and left. Arizona's on the board, down 2 1. We're to the bottom half of the third now. and. Well, Sanchez's offense going to help him increase that lead. Juan Uribe, good and gone. 3-1, San Francisco in front. Go to the fourth. Now it's Eli Whiteside, and he too is going deep. No problems on offense in this one from San Francisco. They go in front 4-1. Remember the one guy who gave Sanchez problems earlier, Rusty Ryle? Well, Sanchez didn't forget. Strikes him out in the fifth. Then he'll take care of Justin Upton. Sanchez goes five strong innings, allows just one run on two hits, and strikes out seven D-backs. As for the aforementioned Buster Posey, not done after that early ribby. Batting now in a 5-1 game, back up the box he goes. That'll bring home his second RBI of the game. So it's now 6-1 Giants, and Posey's still not done. What a day for the former Florida State Seminole. On the ground and a base hit into left field. Sandoval's going to score. Posey with his third hit and his third RBI single. The Giants go up 8-1. They get two more in the frame, then two more in the eighth. They win this thing comfortably 12-1. Posey was brought up the jumpstart the offense. Mission accomplished. He goes three for four with three ribbies. Now, he played first base in this one, but his long-term future is likely behind the plate. No matter where they put him, though, it looks like he can hit. In total, the Giants pitching staff holds the D-backs to just two total hits and just the one run.